Hi, I'm Lynn Vieira and I'm excited to tell you all about shrubs. If you have not tried shrubs or been exposed to them, you are in for a treat. Um, my staff will tell you that I've recently become obsessed with them and I apologize for that, but they are so delicious and there's so many varieties of what you could do that I've had a lot of fun with them. So basically, shrubs um, are a combination of fruit, sugar, and acid, and the acid is typically a vinegar. Um, so there are two versions that you can do. One is a no-cook version, and that's usually with a fruit that breaks down very easily and that's super ripe, like a peach or these blackberries here. And then the ones you might want to cook are ones that take a bit more to break down, like these cherries and also these champagne grapes. So um, the origin of shrubs was that in colonial times, when the fruit would start going bad, it was actually a way to preserve the fruit and make it last longer. Um, and today it's be making a resurgence with, you know, classic cocktails and people are trying to make the drinks more interesting. And it's also a way to eliminate using um, lime or lemon, which is kind of your classic acid. This really, the vinegar, you sort of get that spice in the back of your throat and you get that fruitiness. And you have to use very little of them. So making these, uh, a little goes a long way and it also lasts like, it cannot last up to two years in your refrigerator. So there's so much that you can do, and I'm excited to show you the very many different ways that you could use it. So now I'm going to show you how to make the cook technique of the shrub using these delicious cherries that just take a bit more to break them down. All right, I'm going to show you a spicy cherry shrub. Now this is cooked down as opposed to a fresh one, and the reason I do this is because this um, in order to really get the full flavor out of the fruit, it's better to cook it down. So we're going to start with two cups of fresh cherries. Just put them right in the pot. And two cups of sugar. And I don't know why, but at the farmer's market I was inspired by these scotch bonnet peppers. So this is a whole scotch bonnet pepper. I've left in some of the seeds, but not all of them. This is a pretty spicy pepper. But the combination of the sweet and the spicy makes one killer shrub. So what we're going to do is we're going to melt down the sugars on this. I'm going to turn up the heat a little bit. And then once it starts cooking up, I'm going to let it cook simmer for like 20 minutes. So if you find that it needs a little help, you can add a little bit of water. Um, or you could just, you know, be patient with it and let the, the sugar melt down. So our cherries are ready and we're going to put them through the food processor. So they didn't have food processors in colonial times, but I like using it because I feel like you get more of the fruit in your end product as opposed to if you just put it through a strainer, you'd leave a lot of the cherries behind. We don't want to do that. They're too delicious. So we just want to, here we go, be careful, cherries stain. So you've got your cherries and your peppers in there. Put on your top. Puree this. Smells spicy. And that is it. Take it off carefully, it's hot. Through your strainer. You want to push through whatever hasn't made it. This is actually going through really nice and easily. Okay, so this needs to cool, so you can put it in the refrigerator or just let it go to room temperature even. And then we're going to go ahead and measure what we have left. And then we're going to add a third of vinegar to that and we'll be ready to roll. Okay, our cherry and scotch bonnet shrubs have cooled. And so we have about two cups of liquid here. So that means we're gonna add a cup of the cider vinegar. I also did this using coconut vinegar, which I found at Whole Foods. I had never heard of it before, but it was nice. It was a little bit lighter. So you're just gonna mix that together. And then since both the cider and this were chilling, I think we can go ahead and get ready and make what I like to call the cherry bomb. So it's sweet and it's spicy 
and it's delicious. And this has a little bit of uh, gin in it as well, so it's got a kick. Okay, so we're gonna start by adding three tablespoons of the shrubs or ice. And you can make this, you know, as spicy or unspicy as you like, but I found that three tablespoons works well for me. And then we wanna put an ounce of gin and then just some seltzer. Look at the color, such a great color. And a cherry on top. There you have cherry shrub bomb, my favorite.